It happens all the time, right? We constantly lose. Your wife wins the bet and now you're trying to get out of doing dishes tonight. Were you not looking busy enough and just got picked to take out the trash? Well, have you ever wanted to cook the books, load the dice? Do your family members call shotgun before you even get to the car? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to win with just a dot of super glue. Now this ordinary quarter turns into an extraordinary two-headed quarter. A slip back in the pocket, your better will never know the wiser. Now the odds are in your favor. Have you ever woke up to Carrie Underwood standing in your driveway with a baseball bat and your brake light is cracked? Yeah, well me either, but it does happen and CA Glue does a great job of fixing cracks so that keeps the moisture out. This is Harry Coover. I know what you're thinking. He looks like a typical fun grandpa. He probably was, but in 1942, Coover used something they call fire and invented super glue. This of course was by accident, not only once, but twice. Harry was working with the government to develop a material to cast gun sights. The formula was abandoned and it was reported to be too sticky and not working. The government pulled funding and the project was shut down. Another please. Nine years later, in 1951, Dr. Coover rediscovers superglue while working on a project to fix jet canopies for a company called Eastman Kodak. This time, Coover doesn't abandon the solution, but rather takes it to market. In 1958, the company Eastman Kodak starts selling superglue under the name Eastman No. 910. The company later renames it to Superglue. Superglue was soon licensed to Loctite, who then rebranded it again to be called Loctite Quickset 404. Not long after that, the US military takes interest and Superglue gets deployed into battle in Vietnam to patch up the wounded. Today, CA glue is still used by many to heal cracked fingers and minor cuts, just like it did on the battlefield. Huge shout out to Starbond for sponsoring this video. This has gotta be one of the best CA glues I've ever used and I've used quite a few. The Accelerator doesn't have a smell like the cheaper brands do. It's got quite a few tints to it, so if you'd like to color match, it does a great job at that. It comes in different thicknesses like thin, medium, and thick. Overall, this is a very good glue and the tips are definitely worth the price just for that itself. If you'd like to save 10%, use the promo code WOODENCREATIONS at checkout, do it on their website, and you'll be good to go. If you're new to Starbond, they offer lots of varieties of colors and thicknesses, and with just a quick spray of their accelerator, the CA glue dries within seconds. It's no wonder wood turners love this stuff. They've been creating beautiful inlays on turned bowls for years using Starbond. I'm impressed with how fast the Starbond can fill voids and cracks in boards. And after seeing the results of what a board looks like filled with Starbond, I have no problem skipping the mess and wait time of using epoxy going forward. The other day, my 11-year-old son told me he accidentally knocked a glass vase out of our cabinet and it smashed into a million pieces on our stove. He told me he put a nice size dent right in the front of it. I mean, how does something just fall out of the sky and put a dent in something, you know? But no worries, Starbond makes a black CA glue that color matches really well to the color of my stove. I applied thin layers until the dent was level. Once dry, I was really surprised at how well this actually works and it really did a great job of blending in. Did you know you can double your shelf life of your CA glue by placing them in the fridge or even the freezer? Starbond State CA glues can last several years in a cold environment with no effect to the glue. The next time your buddy calls and says he's got the boat gassed up and the fish are biting like crazy, try this trick. A dab of CA glue will prevent plastic jigs from falling down on your hook cast after cast. Fish don't mind and it'll last all day long.
Have you ever noticed your watch band falling out of its holster? I mean, it literally turns into a watch mud flap that catches on everything. We'll wrangle that little watch loop with a dab of CA glue into a fixed position and solve the problem once and for all. Did you know that millions of woodworkers around the world blame the fictional character, the Gremlin, for taking their pencils when they turn around? A dab of CA glue on the end of a pencil will prevent future <coughs> gremlins from taking it. It's springtime again, and you're in the mood to go look at new houses. You end up on a street that's still in construction and, well, the street's full of screws. Your tires are doing the Lego dance to get out of there, but it's too late. You awake to a shiny new screw and a low tire. No worries, use CA glue to cover your screw and stop the air leak. Air up the tire to the recommended PSI and keep the vehicle at low speeds on the way to the repair shop. I've used this trick more than once and it does a great job. Did I say it was springtime again? I meant to say it was chapstick weather again. That is if I don't lose it. I mean, I'm holding the chapstick and then bam, it's gone. Gremlins, probably. Off to the store to buy another one. I mean, this is a real problem. Napoleon Dynamite even feels my pain. Until now. I've 3D printed a chapstick holder using a little CA glue. My chapstick now attaches to the lid of my hand cream and now it has a permanent home to return to. I am not much into cosplay, but a great material that's fun to design with is crafting foam. It's cheap, it's light, and it doesn't fall apart after you make something out of it. Foam can be easily cut with a pair of scissors, or to save time, I cut these on the laser cutter. I chose not to use Starbond's accelerator when putting these together, so I had a little more working time. Using the extension fine tip, I added little dots in order to give the look of metal rivets. Once done, I use black acrylic paint to give this foam a base coat. Then using either Craftsman Metal Wax or another favorite like Rub and Buff, brush on this metallic wax and give your new foam the look of an ancient medieval metal. Nope, I only did the rivets on one piece, but if this was a real prop, I would have done them all. We live in a world where people love to steal, but they're not always the brightest. I mean, this guy made a mask out of duct tape. Ouch. I did come up with a very cool CA glue hack though to turn your ordinary screws into a slightly more secure screw. Maybe on your license plate or maybe on that screw that faces outward that you don't want people to mess with. My theory is people who steal want low hanging fruit and if it takes too much energy or time, they'll just move on to something else. The cool thing about adding CA glue to a screw head is by heating up a screwdriver, the super glue melts and you can access the screw again very quickly. We're off to welding, and no, we aren't talking about my awesome safety gear or how well I lay dimes. There's a place and time for clamps and magnets when welding, but sometimes the items you're working with may be a little too small or awkward to clamp or align. 
A little CA glue on these pieces worked awesome at keeping them aligned and well, I didn't have to fight the clamps and magnets, so that was very nice. It's off to the 3D printer to show you my next idea. I'm printing a housing to hold, well you guessed it, a glowing radioactive glass vial. Wait, before you call the fuzz on me, let me explain. It's called tritium, which is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen that someone has caught like a firefly and then shoved into a glass vial. Like they did in old school with blue, gently. The cool thing is, tritium can glow for up to 15 to 20 years, or until my grandkids break it one day. Uh-oh, it's learning time again. Here we go. Tritium was first detected in 1934 by science. Tritium is a low energy and isn't dangerous externally as its beta particles are unable to penetrate the skin, but can be a radiation hazard if inhaled or ingested, so try not to eat it. Tritium is commonly used for glow-in-the-dark gun sights, watches, exit signs, compasses, and soon to be added to wiki, crazy wooden creation hacks. Now that I've educated you on how the magic stick works, it's back to the show. Losing the remote in the dark sucks. You know whose fault this is? It's those little gremlins. Never lose your remote again in the dark with this cool hack with Tritium. With the Tritium vial inside the 3D printed housing and with a little dot of CA glue, this remote is ready for lights out on your next movie. Let's face it, a locked door gives us a sense of safety to get a good night's rest, but the nightly check to make sure all doors are locked have been flawed for centuries. Until now. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Can you tell me if this lock is locked or unlocked? It's an actual picture of my door with the lights off. Now let's see what this lock would look like if I starbond tritium to it. I glued it so when both tritiums are horizontal, this tells me the door is locked. From across the house, I can clearly see in the dark if the door is locked or unlocked. No more tripping looking for light switches before bed, and the great part is, it's good for another 20 years. Your son just informed you he wants a glow-in-the-dark Nerf War in the basement. You hit up Amazon for glow Nerf darts and see it'll take days to get those shipped. Save the day with this hack. Put a thin layer of medium starbond on your dart tips and tails and roll them in glow powder and after they're dry to the touch, you're ready for action. It doesn't take long for the glue to dry once it hits the glow powder, so off to loading up our gluing bullets of awesomeness and prepare for battle. Being we're going all out, I'm taking it up another notch, and I designed 3D printed sights we can say a glue to the top of this Nerf gun. Now with two tritium rods for night sights and our glow powder on our darts, let's see what this thing can do. I've wanted glowing exhaust tips since the day I got the keys to my first truck. I love making my rides unique. Okay, maybe not that unique. I want a ride that screams fast and furious on the weekend, yet is still a little gentleman hauling lumber on the weekdays. I think we all know where this is going. I'm literally going to tar and feather my exhaust tip in the name of science. Why? Because no regrets. Now, glue powder does require a light source to charge it up, and, well, a flashlight would work, but I figured at night, every time you stop at a stoplight, the car behind you, well, their headlights would give you a fresh charge. While this might not appeal to everyone, I'm always out to try new things and experiment. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people that think this is silly, but this hack might just bring some parents some excitement to have their kids look up from their iPads for a brief second to see something glowing. If you've ever had a hinge slide around during assembly, you know it can be a little frustrating. Try gluing down your hinge next time with a little CA glue first before putting in any screws. Pre-drilling pilot holes will prevent splitting, but this little hack will keep your hinge from jumping around in the future. Having shoelaces pull out of their hole isn't too common, but pretty frustrating. Try just a dot of CA glue on each shoelace to prevent future frustrations. 
Wood turners love Starbon for its awesome abilities to fill cracks or wiping on projects to give them a glassy smooth finish. A cool tip to prevent your Starbon from vibrating off the lathe while you're turning is to drop a neodymium magnet into the bottle. The glue impressively still flows the same, but now the bottle can magnetically stick to a metal surface like your lathe and no longer vibrate off. Iron Man will go down as one of the greatest superheroes of all time, but I came up with a hack to make him just a tiny bit better and let his legacy carry on. To do this, I've designed an Iron Man arc reactor coaster and assembling it with Starbond CA glue. The arc reactor is made up of 3D printed pieces and it was painted using acrylic paint and rub and buff. CA glue does a great job of bonding 3D printed plastic and with its quick drying time and strong bond, it allowed me to quickly assemble this coaster. The magic doesn't happen to this Iron Man arc reactor until you kill the lights. The infused glow powder really pops and makes for a great cup coaster and dim lighting. I hope you enjoyed this video and the countless number of hours I put into making it. Again, I want to thank Starbond for sending me their CA glue and allowing me to make this video for you. If you're not ready, click the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. <laughs> Thanks again for watching.